Hello everybody, I'm Garola64 and welcome to Arlo the Rabbit. This is a demo of a game made by Josh Amations, and I'm going to link the trailer for this demo and the game itself in a card at the top right of the screen and in the description. Make sure to go check it out because I think it's pretty neat. I've played it through a couple times already. It has the first world in it and there is more to come on April 27th, I believe. But for now, we're going to explore the first bit of Arlo. Gotta say, I really like the name even though it reminds me of a certain blue guy on YouTube. And as you can see, this game has a lot of Kirby influence. You can see uh, they have the little world intros, kind of like in Kirby's Dreamland, I believe. And actually, yeah. No, Kirby's Adventure? I think it was Kirby's Adventure, right? Because that's the one that they remade into Nightmare in Dreamland. But I remember like they had Vegetable Valley and stuff like that. But yeah, that's besides the point. In this one, we play as a fun-loving little rabbit, and he's adorable. Look at him. He's just... He, I, he's collecting carrots. It's what rabbits do. But you know, I just read something. Funny enough, I was looking at some stuff about uh, cartoon rabbits and video game rabbits, and I saw, like, Bugs Bunny was the person, or, or rabbit, rather, that actually started the whole rabbits like carrots thing. Because in actuality, carrots don't really have a lot of nutritional value for rabbits. And that kind of blew my mind. I didn't know that rabbits and carrots had not been, you know, playing hand in hand for all of eternity. It's just like, it's one of those moments where you have to like sit back and think, wow, I know nothing about the world beyond video games. And speaking of video games, I don't really know of a whole lot of video game rabbits, to be honest. I was searching my memory banks and I could only come up with two. One being Peppy from Star Fox, who I don't have very much experience with because I've never played Star Fox, but I do know that he, he likes to yell at you and demand you do a certain type of role that I won't mention. And the other would be, um, this is a weird one, but uh, in Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward, there is a virtual rabbit called, well, he calls himself Zero, but then the cast members start calling him Zero Jr. And what I love about him is his voice is perfect, and he, he constantly makes rabbit puns throughout just his entire existence, and I'm just really down with that. Like, he'll say things like, every bunny or... I, I cannot tell a lie, like, instead of cannot, like, that's a stretch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's a bit of a stretch, but I still found it funny, because that's just the kind of person I am. Arlo, on the other hand, doesn't say any puns, but I mean, there's hope for the future, perhaps? I, I don't know, that would be nice, <laughs> but, you know, some people hate puns, so it might be best to just have a silent protagonist, but who knows? Uh, anyway. In this game, you're going to be running around a couple levels, and you're going to be jumping and throwing rocks at things. Which, I mean, you could take a trip in your backyard and do the same thing, but this is a lot more legal, I would assume. And plus, it's so darn cute. I mean, look at him. Look at all that upper arm strength. He can hold that rock and walk around like it's no problem, but if you try to jump, you are going to be a little bit less able to make it off the ground. And I haven't even mentioned the ducks yet. I, I had a moment when I, I first started playing this. Um, I was just at PAX East, and I saw Vinny from Vine Sauce, and, you know, he's got a thing with ducks, and as soon as I saw the ducks in this game, I was like, oh man, Vinny should play this, but then I was like, by extension, that would mean literally any game with ducks in, I think he should play, which, I, I mean, I, I guess that would be fun, but, like, he's not all about ducks, it's not his main focal point when it comes to his channel or his streams, so I think that's just more a problem with me. I associate with him him with ducks now, and that might be his own fault because of, you know, all the various duck things he's done. Arlo, no. Oh, That was not a barrel roll, that was just a sadness roll. I'm not really sure what these things are supposed to be, but... They, they got a nose. It kind of looked like a beak to me, but I've got ducks in the brain, as we've already established. And then these may or may not be ducks. I'm just gonna say these are birds, so I can try to escape from... Gotta escape from this train of thought. Gotta go see a doctor or something. Probably won't be able to help me, I'm quacking up. Alright, and here we are. We've reached the end of the demo. We've got a little boss fight with... Uh... Not really sure what it's supposed to be, but it looks like maybe Kirby with Mario's mustache, except a bit more lumpy. Maybe it's Kirby's dad. I don't know, what would his dad even be called? Ah, whoa. Okay. 
So the rocks will fall from the ceiling, you gotta throw rocks at him, and then he turns into a carrot. And one thing I haven't mentioned so far, the music in this game is like, it's some seriously good stuff. Like, play the demo, just sit in the level on the title screen in this boss room, and just listen to it. It's just, it's too good. Like I said, I played it like three times already, four times now. And that was partly because I wanted to hear the music again. <laughs> yeah, here we go, we've got our first big carrot. My heart's going to explode. It's just too cute. Alright, demo over. Thank you for trying Arlo the Rabbit. Coming soon to Steam, 4-27-2018. Make sure to look out for it and play the demo if you're interested. So, again, I will link that in a card and in the description. If you like this video and you're not subscribed already, please make sure you do so so you can keep up with more rabbits and other things that aren't rabbits, because I do a lot of things. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.